Hey guys, good to see you today. My name is Mr. Mayamba, and today is actually our last day of writing new sentences in our All About Books. You guys have literally done a fantastic job at coming up with all of this amazingness. Keep up the great work. We're going to need it for today. For our last section of our book, we're going to be working on comparisons. Our last section of our book will be focused on comparisons. Now you try. What are we going to be focused on in our last section of the book? Comparisons. Great job. So there's two ways to do a comparison in your All About book. The first way is to compare different kinds of our topic. Pretty self-explanatory. The first way is to complain is to a compare different types of t our topic. Sorry about that. I make mistakes too. The second type of comparison is to take two things that are similar but not the same. So in this case, you'll have fruit, something that's similar to fruits but is not the same. All right? Let's go over that one more time just to make sure you caught all of those ideas. Give me a thumbs up to the screen if you're ready. Excellent job. The two types of comparisons that you can try utilizing in your text today, one, comparing two kinds of our topic for our All About book, or taking your topic and comparing it to something a little similar, but not the same, okay? So, you have those two direct examples, but before we even dive in, let's look at some of our mentor texts so we can get a better idea of what this looks like. We're gonna be using the, we're still working with our books, our book, our all about book about bats. I'm gonna start reading. Make sure you're following along and listening carefully. Bats choose many kinds of dark nooks and crannies to live in. These places are called roosts. Many bats live together in caves, attics, barns, or tall trees. In places where it gets cold in the winter, some kinds of bats migrate to warmer climates. Others use their roosts to hibernate until spring. I'm gonna keep going. Give me a thumbs up to the screen if you're ready. Excellent job. Just before hibernating begins, bats eat lots of food to live on during the long winter months. Their heartbeat slows down and their body temperatures drop. And then above, we have a text feature, which we've been introduced in the past. We have a diagram with a label, and this is a Mexican free-tailed bat. On the next page, another text feature. This is a epilogue bat. And two more. Kitty's hog-nosed bat and a giant flying flying fox. So, those are all examples of the different kinds of our topic. That was our first example, different kinds of bats. Our second comparison is comparing things that aren't necessarily the same, but they're similar. Let's look at what I came up with to help you along your journey for homework and tonight. Give me a thumbs up to the screen if you're ready. Excellent job. So, our comparison was fruits and vegetables. Think to yourself, why might Mr. Mayumbo compare fruits and vegetables? Yeah, 
Whatever you're thinking, hold on to that thought. You're on to the right track. Let's dive in to see if you're correct. Different kinds of healthy foods filled with important nutrients. Similar to fruits, vegetables are a part of plants that are consumed by humans. Some vegetables are soft, some are spicy, some are crunchy, and some are bland. And that's it. Tonight, you're going to be comparing and using, using your topic. You could compare different kinds of your topic. So in this case, you, if you wanted to compare different kinds of fruits, you could. The big fruits to the small fruits or the soft fruits on the outside to the hard fruits on the outside. Literally so many different possibilities. Or you could take something that, like Netflix, right? If your topic is Netflix and you want to compare it to television, they're similar, but they're not the same. Now you try. If you're having any sort of struggle, uh, difficulties with this, feel free to ask anyone around you or reach out to me for any assistance. I can't wait to see what you come up with for tomorrow. Enjoy.